all right so welcome back my name remains Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon the founder of Michael Tech all right so let us consider this uh pro second problem problem number B all right problem letter B sorry not number B letter B all right so looking at this drawing in photographic now the first thing you need to reduce is in what projection so this is in what in first angle also because irrespective of either first or third angle take note your plan is usually isolated only the front view has something beside it even if it is third angle the plan is isolated all right the front view is the one carrying the what the end view at both sides or on one side that is it so this is also in what in first angle all right and if we are actually going to arrange this object let's say i have my isometric plane right here Yeah, this is my isometric plane. Okay, this at 30 degrees. This at 30 degrees. So, this is our what, our left end view. Left end view is going to sit on what on the left hand side there. So, which means this end view will be what will be here. My front view. These are front. My front will be here. Okay, that's it. Front will be here. End view will be here. Okay, if you are actually going to solve this based on what I explained in the previous videos. Okay. If we are actually going to convert this so take note of this now with what i explained in previous video you know i said if this were to be your object okay and this is your front view if this were to be your front view okay tilting this object this way this is your what this is your plan all right this is your plan so then this area is your what is carrying your front view while this area is carrying the old the back view so this is it now your front so that implies that what I'm having here is what I'm having what here also. Because looking from the plan, the same shape I'm having right here is what I'm having right here. Okay, that was what I actually explained in the first video. So please, I'm going to advise you, if you happen to watch the first video, I numbered it as part one, part two. Okay, as problem one, problem two. So if you haven't watched problem one, don't bother coming here. Okay, please watch it in that ascending order starting from one to like that to uh the highest number we can actually reach based on the amount of time i actually have left here okay please and please follow them in that order don't skip any uh of the steps watch each of we will watch the videos in that ascending order from one to three like that so that you can actually grab what uh, i'm trying to actually explain right here okay so now looking at this this area is my what is my front this area is my what is my back take note what i'm having in the front here is not what i am having at the back take note of that that is the first clip so looking at this object now just like this mat set that this area is straight so it means that this object if i turn it to isometric the back is what is straight so this shape i am seeing has to do with my with my front view another thing is trace let me trace if i trace i see that there's a correlation between this joint and this shape here likewise this shape and this shape here there's a correlation there also so take note there's a correlation okay take note so which means this area i am seeing on my front view relates to what this area of my plan okay and also relates to what this area of my end view so the very first thing is let us replicate this uh front view we are having right here so that front view is this yeah so i have that front view right there do you see that so that is it so this end view now this end view left end view is what is here and we said this area this area okay aligns with what this area here do you see that do you see that so which means this goes like this like this you see that is the alignment it aligns that shape aligns uh, you see we are getting there all right so then the plan you can see this area aligns with this area here so and if you do your 45 degree whatever and you do your trees you see okay you notice that this area on my plan aligns with this area on the inside here so which is what this right here this right here then the other aspect of my plan which is this 
So now, if I leave this object like this, then it doesn't make any sense. This object like this doesn't make any sense at all. Because what is the essence of just leaving this? Okay, so that implies that I am having what something like this. So that's why you must actually be familiar with auto isometric drawings so that you can have ideas. So that is our what our object. So look at it now. Front view, this plan, this, then end view, which is this. So one thing is this: if you are treating this topic, if you understand your orthographic projection very well, by the time you convert it to isometric, if you are doing the wrong thing, you will know. Okay. So by the time you convert it to isometric, check it back to orthographic. Does it align? Are they the same? If it aligns, then you are absolutely correct. So we stop right here. My name remains Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you.